This is a rosy-faced lovebird. It has a bit of a thing for extraordinary apartments, prickly ones. This bird likes to live in cacti, and he's not the only one. But how do birds that originated in Africa end up in cacti in Phoenix, Arizona? It all began with an open door. Rosy-faced lovebirds are originally from dry parts of Africa. They're small, colorful parrots and are often kept as cage birds in the U.S. In Phoenix, the ancestors of these little fellows escaped captivity and found a wonderful new world filled with everything a lovebird could ever dream of. Life here is so good, it's taken the parrot species just 25 years to colonize almost all of the greater Phoenix area. In the deserts of Arizona, it isn't always easy to find tree holes to nest in, so the lovebirds started to keep an eye out for a special kind of apartment. The famous saguaro cactus became the new place to be. Digging a hole in a cactus is hard work, so the lovebirds hire local construction workers. The Gila woodpecker lends a hand, or more accurately, a beak. These woodpeckers excavate a new nest cavity every year, so there's plenty of unused real estate for the lovebirds to move into. With an ideal climate and lots of nesting sites, Phoenix is a little slice of lovebird heaven. But what do the birds eat? The saguaro provides for the native woodpeckers, but not for the lovebirds. Once again, the parrots have had a little help from the locals, just not the feathered kind this time. The people of Phoenix love their colorful garden visitors and are happy to feed them. There's one final element to the lovebird's success here. Back in Africa, they're always found near water. And here, in the city, there are plenty of lawn sprinklers around. In the 40-degree heat, these splashy gardens become a lovebird magnet. It's a chance for a drink and a cold shower. Most exotic species that escape don't survive long in the wild, and fewer still establish breeding populations in non-native habitats. But over the past 25 years, the population of these lovebirds has increased, and they've become regular visitors to the city parks and backyards of many Phoenix neighborhoods. The good thing is that so far this sudden abundance of parrots hasn't had any negative environmental impacts. Their preference for nesting sites, food and water mean the lovebirds stay in the city and don't threaten the desert ecosystem. Despite growing up in captivity, these little parrots are proving it is possible to return to a life of freedom. The only trick now is to avoid being caught again. Want to see more parrots? Check out our Flying Gardeners video and learn more about the bright blue hyacinth macaw.